looking for somebody to use. May you find us, oh God. morning viewer. Welcome to a joyful morning. My name once again is Bishop Simon Mwagimuledi from the Full Gospel Churches of Kenya, uh, Kiambu. I've been sharing with us this week about uh, overcoming limitations of life. And on Monday, we talked about how we overcome victim mentality. And yesterday, I was talking about uh, 
overcoming or do not allow people to despise you. And uh, you can be limited if you allow yourself to be limited, to be despised by people, or if you despise yourself. Because the greatest enemy of your life is yourself. Sometimes the way you think about yourself and the way you think what other people think about you. And sometimes even people may not be having any issue with you. But when you look at them, you may think that people are against you even when they are not against you. And then you start despising yourself simply because of what probably you went through or your experience in life. And therefore, you become limited and you become a victim of history. And therefore, you need to overcome those limitations. And somebody said that you can learn from history, but you are not tied to history. So history is important for you to learn, but history may not be important for your progress because history comes with a lot of failures and the pains that you have gone through. Today, we are going to talk about humble beginning. Do not despise also your humble beginning. I'm reading from the book of Zechariah, chapter 4, from verse number 6. Zechariah, chapter 4, from verse number 6. From the New King James Fashion, it says, So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, uh, but my, my spirit says the Lord of hosts, Who are you, great mountain, before Zerubbabel? You shall become a plain, and he shall bring forth the capstone with the shout of grace to eight, uh, or the, the shout of grace, grace to eight. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, the hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this temple. His hands shall also finish it. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. Verse number 10, it says, for who has despised the day of small beginning, the beginnings, the small things. And that is my word this morning. Do not despise those small things that you do, those small beginnings that you do. Here, the prophet Zechariah was talking about the building of the temple. When the captives were going back during the time of Ezra, to rebuild the temple. They had to start somewhere. And there were people who were despising what they were doing. You remember even when Nehemiah went to build the wall, Akina, those people like Tobias and Sanibarat, they were just despising what they were doing. And they were saying, even if a fox jump on that wall, it is going to fall. And therefore, probably, if they listened to these people, they would never have uh, built that wall. And even the, when Zerubbabel was leading people to rebuilding the temple, there were all kinds of talks, and people were despising them because they could see just weak Jewish who have been in captives, and therefore they were saying they do not have the might. But the Lord was saying, it is not by might, it is not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And therefore, we need also to know that as we work for the Lord, we do not go by our own strength. If the Lord is on our side, we make the majority. So do not despise those days. Of, of, of small beginning. I like also the text in the book of Job, in the book of, of, of Job chapter, chapter 8, verse number 7, which emphasizes also on those uh, beginnings, this, the small beginnings. 
chapter 8 of the book of Job, chapter 7, it says, Though your beginning was small, yet your later end would increase abundantly. That is the New King James Fashion. If you read from the New International Fashion, it says, Your beginnings will seem humble, so prosperous will your future be. We start small. We do not start with the big things. Even when we grow, we start as very small kids. And we eventually grow to become big people. The great people we see in the world, the presidents, the prime ministers, the people we admire, the bishops, the great evangelists, they started small. So, and the word of God says that your beginnings may and it talks of beginnings. I like the word of God here in the book of Job where it talks about beginnings. It may be probably you have tried so many things and you have begun so many things. And those beginnings may look small, but so prosperous will your future be. I am an example. I started uh, sharing the word of God or preaching when I was 17 years old. I was in secondary school. I did not know how to speak. I had not gone to Bible school. I had not died by the word of God a lot. And I remember when I gave my life to the Lord and I went to a certain fellowship, I was invited to share the word of God. And it was not easy. I can remember how I bumbled once and I forget what I was saying. But that is the platform. That is where I started. And uh, I started sharing in the Christian Union. And in those days, we liked even going where people have died, died, where there is Matanga, and we could preach there a lot. We could go to the marketplace and preach there. Little did we know that we will ever become great preachers in the future. And now I have preached from that time. I preached for more than 40 years, and I've shared Many have preached many sermons in great meetings, in small meetings, but I started small. So you, the, the, the writer of the book of Job is saying your beginnings. There are things that you start small, but so prosperous shall your future be. I always look at the cribs of the, the way we used to preach when we were youth and uh, the, the, the kind of sermons that we used to preach. But those were just small beginnings. So my fewer even today, you might be having a small beginning. It might be even your business, where you have started a business, probably selling uh, little groceries there. You are a, a small shop. Probably it is your career. You have started small. And uh, many people even do not take you seriously. They think like you are just joking. But those are going to be your stepping stone to a great future. Therefore, never despise those small things that you do in life because they are going to take you to the next level. And never allow people also to despise you. Therefore, take seriously what you, you do. And you do not despise uh, those moral things. Somebody said, what you despise, you cannot honor. So if you despise those things you, you do, you cannot honor them. You see no value in it, and you will never carry the gift in it. So if you despise something, because and you do it for the sake of it, I always advise young men and women, do not despise the smaller things you do. You might be when you come out of this and you are going out, you are just selling, uh, learning aloud and selling uh, tomatoes or, or these days I can see so many people selling, uh, selling fruits. That is a good beginning. It is better than nothing. Don't just stay at home and say, there is nothing I cannot do. Do something even if it looks small because it has a great future in it. It may be humble, but so prosperous shall your future be. So this morning, 
I am saying, do not despise the small things that you do. It might be a business. It might be even small training. Sometimes you have no chance to go to the university. There are people who do not have opportunity. But God helped you to go to a small college at the corner of your, your town. That small college and the little skill that you got there will, will, can be your springboard to a great future. You only need to respect the little things you do daily. And when you have something to do, even if it is something small, make sure you do it well. You make sure you do it well. And do not allow people to despise you. Because as I said that, sometimes we despise ourselves and we despise what we, we do. To and we, uh, we, 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 we speak, we preach negative things to ourselves. And you say, this, I am doing things because I do not have anything else to do. Like today I am preaching. I am not uh, trying to preach. I am actually preaching. I know this word that I'm speaking, they are going to change somebody. So whenever I start to speak the word of God, I am not trying to share the word. I share the word. So whenever you go out to do some work, do it with the seriousness that it deserves. And for you to be able to overcome, as I said, I have always said is that God your heart, guard your heart, because your heart is extremely valuable. It is where your dreams, your desires, your passions live. Guard your heart. Do not allow anybody to tamper with the well that is in you. You have a well that you need to protect. And that is why you try those things, you try those moral things that you try. Guard your heart. Guard what you hear because you have an opening to the world. And this opening to the world may destroy you. We talk of the five common sayings, the things that you see, the things that you hear, the things that you smell, the things that you touch. You need to guard your heart because those are the doors to your heart. And you need to protect those doors to your heart that can spoil even the, the well of your heart, the intentions that you have. So it is important for you to protect your heart because your heart is the source of everything you do. The Bible talks of the wellspring of life. Your heart is the wellspring of life. life. So guard it. Guard your heart. Guard your thought life. Guard the words you speak to yourself. There were songs that we used to sing when we were young, and we, they, 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 we actually kind of despised ourselves. There are songs that we sing, instead of lifting us up, they, they are songs that despise what we do with our hands. Do not speak words that will try to belittle what you do or to belittle your effort. Speak words that will add energy to your initiative. Everything depends on the condition of the spring, the spring of your heart. Take care of your heart because your heart is under constant attack. The enemy may want to bring circumstances that may want to change your mentality and you see that you live for nothing. But today I'm saying do not despise that which you are doing. If the Lord has given you something to do, do it and do it well. And when you do it well, you will reap the benefit of your effort. And I want to say once again, your beginnings will seem to be humble, but so prosperous will your future be. So take care of what you do. Take care of the way you see yourself. Take care Love what you listen from other people and do not allow it to destroy, to destroy your attitude towards your effort and your energy. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us not to despise what you have allowed us to do. 
There are many opportunities that comes our way. And sometimes because of the way we look at the opportunities that you give us and we despise them. They have, sometimes we are not able to take advantage of them. But now I pray for my viewer that you or she will be lady and able to take advantage of the opportunities that you have brought his or her way. And though he may start small, you have promised a prosperous future. I thank you because you will give him the stability and the patience that he deserves so that he may see the fruit of his labor. In Jesus' name I pray. My name once again is Bishop Simon Mwagmulidi from the Full Gospel Churches of Kenya. And may God bless you as you enjoy your joyful morning. God bless you. Julie mie mie, ni onge wa nisikie, tushinda ne ni shinde. Na nilitaka ni wena sifa, ah, 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 ah. muna simama, ah. punde ni kifika. Na nilitaka ni wena dereva, mtu waku nifuata. Kawedo, Ay, Anna, Anna. 